Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Alex here. Welcome back to one of the many videos that are going to be out on my YouTube channel regarding the work visas here in Malta. <laughs> Okay, so ever since I started doing these videos about Malta, I started getting to many new people on this channel and this channel has been coming like some kind of channel for non-European Union citizens to find their information about Malta. Every time when I post a new video about Malta, I get hundreds of new subscribers on this channel and I don't like the word subscribers, but just for the sake that we are on YouTube, I'm gonna say subscribers. However, each and every one that is viewing this video, it's a viewer for me and potentially a friend. Now, when I talk about Malta, I always talk about Malta with passion. I love this country. I always try to get the right information out there for each and every person that would like to come and start their own life over here in Malta. In one of my videos, I mentioned that I'm gonna do a video why am I doing these videos, but now I'm just gonna say shortly. Once upon a time, I used to be from the other side on the screen and I used to watch videos about the lifestyle here in Malta. Even though I was already living as a tourist over here on the island, I was still not 100% sure on what's going on when you're working in Malta. With this being said, I always try to help to many people that I bump into on social media just to give them the right information so that anyone could be happy and potentially succeed on the island. And as you can see from the thumbnail and from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking whether Malta is giving out work visas at this time of the year. When I'm doing this video, it's, hold on a minute, 24th of June. <laughs> I'll try to do this video to be not more than five minutes because I want everyone to get the right information. So please make sure that you're going to hear this video in full so that you can understand whether the work visas are being issued or no. And the reason is because there's so many interesting things that you need to know because right now in order for you to get a work visa in Malta, it's kind of a please make sure to watch this video in full so that you can get the right information of how exactly is the process for you to get a work visa here in Malta. If you are living in a country that is on the green list over here in Malta, for you it's very easy to just come over here on the island on a tourist visa, start looking for a job and once you find the job you can apply for your work visa. However, there are many people who are at the moment in non-European countries which are highly affected unfortunately by the COVID-19. So Malta has these countries into red list and one of these countries is India. Now on my channel I met so many new friends and I met so many new people that I started even chatting more into on a personal level as well from the beautiful India. Please be careful of to whom you are trusting online especially if it's someone that is starting with the first topic. For you to get a work visa in Malta you need to pay me 500 euros. Beep, red flag, scam. Now put this all on the side and let's go. To those countries which are on the red list to arrive to come here in Malta, you need to know that your only entrance to come on the island is if you spend two weeks in a safe corridor country, which means, let's say I would take Italy, for example, or um, Bulgaria, depending from where you're coming from. So you need to spend two weeks into this safe corridor country and after two weeks you will be able to come and enter the island. Now, it all depends on how you're entering and with what kind of passport you're entering, whether it's a passport that does not need visa or if it's a passport that needs some kind of visa, you need to make sure that first you have your own tourist visa. Now, please check in your embassies in your own countries of how and where you can apply to get the tourist visa so that you can come in Malta. Once you're over here in Malta, you can start looking for a job, but I'm going to tell something else which is extremely important as well. And this is if you're trying to find a job online. Many people are texting me that they've been trying to find a job online for the last few months and they're not succeeding. And there are even people who are trying since January of this year. And in one of my videos, I've mentioned that there are job opportunities here in Malta and there are job opportunities even for the non-European citizen. And many of you guys are telling me that you're applying but you're not succeeding. 
There is a dedicated video that I'm going to do about this one more time again because one video I did and I just broke down one point which was me telling you that you need to have a three years of experience for you to be selected to work in Malta. That was one of the requirements. There are so many other requirements and another dedicated video will be coming out very shortly on this topic. Whoever will find a job online, your employer will be able to submit your application into Identity Malta from where you will be getting a form which is called Approval in Principle Letter, which basically is your entrance in Malta. However, still, if you are coming from a red list country, you still need to go into two weeks quarantine. It's not a quarantine, it's like two weeks of your stay into a safe corridor country. Once you're passing through these two weeks into a safe corridor country, your entrance in Malta will be granted. Many videos are going to coming out on this channel. So with this, please go in the comment section down on this video and write down all the video ideas that you guys have for me, meaning all the questions that you would like me to answer in a video. But please try not to be something that can be answered with yes or no. Let's try and make as many informations that we can to be given out for you through just a simple comment. As always, you're more than welcome to come into my social medias, which are linked down over here and in the description of this video. Feel free to contact me if you need any kind of information or you need any help regarding Malta. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like the video down below and click that subscribe button as well. And until I see you in my next one, Bye.